Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a project I've been working on for about four years now on and off. Um, it's finally ready for assembly today, so I'm very excited to get going on it. And this is it right here. It's a uh, steampunk style alarm clock. So uh, what I started with was just this um, digital clock uh, kit right here from Canna Kit. Uh, it's basically just a you know classic electronics kit where you buy all the parts and solder them together. And the interesting thing about this kit was that a output to the alarm was actually uh, just a relay switch. It didn't have a buzzer or anything. So, you know, you can easily hook up anything to it. So what I did was I hooked up this uh, five volt electric motor here. So you see this white motor here. That's, uh, you know, just a standard like robotics motor. And I hooked it up here to the alarm output and I uh, put this brass gear on it. So now when the alarm triggers, this electric motor starts to turn this brass gear. And you can see here on the front as well, this is where the uh, digital display is actually shown. So it is a digital alarm clock with a mechanical alarm. And I'll show you the mechanical alarm right now. So this drive gear drives this system of brass gears and this I basically cut all of these brass gears out of an old clock movement and I mounted them to this brass plate that I cut out and what happens is the drive gear inside the box will drive this gear here and that will turn all of the gears in this gear system and you can see the very top gear here has a little pin on it and when that pin rotates around it actually pulls this hammer back and that's your alarm so this will get mounted to the top of this cover plate here so it'll just get mounted down in there like that and then the drive gear will come up through one of those slots in the top of the cover plate and it will turn this gear system so the last major part of the project is up here this is a cover for the gear system and basically it's just brass and wood and a couple panes of glass and this will sit directly over top of the gear system and be bolted directly to the cover plate that we were just looking at. Now you see also on the workbench I have all these little brass greeblies and stuff um, to dress it up make it look a little more interesting uh, you know like some of these are um, like labels for the uh, time setting buttons and uh, stuff like that and basically all these have been weathered to some extent the brass gears that I started out with were at least 80 years old it was an old broken clock movement and they had all this natural weathering to them and I wanted to keep that old used feel throughout the entire piece so all of these brass pieces I weathered to some extent and um, that's pretty much everything and uh, let's put it together.
Okay, so the assembly is finally complete. Um, took a little bit longer than expected, as things usually do, but uh, it's all together now, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. Um, basically, you see the display reading out there on the front. Um, there are the three buttons here on top. So this one changes the, the minute, this one changes the hour, and this one is the alarm set. So we're going to set the alarm, and you can see how this gear system runs. Uh, first of all, on this side is the alarm on and off switch. So you see just a little knife switch there with the uh, on and off. And I'm going to come over here and set the alarm. So, so you're reading 208 right now. So if I turn the alarm on, first of all, turn it on on the side here. And let's switch this to 208. There you go. So you see the gear system working, the alarm bell going off. All I have to do to turn this off is switch this nice switch to the off position. And there you go, that's it. So that's the project, and uh, four years later it's finally done. I'm very happy with it.